Hi, K3. Welcome to calendar meeting. Today, after we do our calendar meeting, I have a fun winter book for you. So I'm excited to share that with you. So I'm going to share my screen right now and we'll get started. Okay, if you're ready to do start our calendar meeting, I want you to touch your shoulders like this. If you're ready to start our calendar meeting, I want you to Hug your ears very gently. And if you're ready to start our calendar meeting, sometimes we do this before we start our calendar meeting, get our bodies ready. Hands up, criss, cross, applesauce. Hands up, criss, cross. Give yourself a hug. Hands up, criss, cross, fishy face. Hands up, criss. Cross, give yourself a squeeze. We're going to do it again in a whisper. Turn your whisper voice on. Hands up. Criss, cross, applesauce. Hands up. Criss, cross, give yourself a hug. Hands up. Criss, cross, fishy face. Hands up. Now we're going to do it with no voice at all. Voices off. Very tricky. Ready? Wow, you guys are so, so good at that. All right, ready? Days of the week. And we're going to do boom, clap today. Days of the week, boom, clap. Days of the week, boom, clap. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, boom, clap. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week, boom, clap. Days of the week, boom, clap. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, boom, clap. Today is Wednesday, December 23rd. It's 2020 and it's winter and it's winter. Again, I'm noticing that first day of Hanukkah was on the 10th. Today is the 23rd. Can you help me to count how many more days until Christmas? Let's see. One, two. One, two. Two more days until Christmas. It's very exciting. Another thing that's very exciting is when we get back to school, it's going to be a new year. A new year. The last day of December is the 31st. And then it's going to be a brand new year. So it's not going to be 2020 anymore. And it's not going to be December. So we're going to have to really notice what happens to the calendar when we come back after our winter break. It'll be very exciting to see. All right. Yesterday we tried to count by fives and it was very, very tricky. If you want to hear fives again, touch your nose five times. One, two, three, four, five. Sometimes we'll count by ones. Sometimes you might like counting by ones or tens or fives. There's lots of different ways to count. You can listen to this if you would like to try to learn how to do it. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-one. 62, 63, 64, 65, hmm, 65, C, 66, two sixes, a six and a six, a six and a six, 66, and I'm going to write that number, 66, let's see, I'm going to do it in red today, 66. 
It's down, around, around, bonk. And then again, down, around, around, bonk, 66. I'm going to go back again because some friends were wondering about something. Let's see if I can go back. Some friends were wondering when the 100th day of school is. When the 100th day of school is. So when we get to number 100, we'll be at the 100th day of school. And that is right down here at the bottom, right down here at the bottom. So we have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 34 more days until we get to 100. And there's a big, big celebration for, for K3 friends. So it's very, very exciting. There's our 66. And now I'm going to share with you a special winter book that I'm sure you guys will like. And it's Froggy Gets Dressed. And one thing about Froggy Gets Dressed that's really nice is that he's kind of dressing up for to go outside in winter and he has to put a whole lot of clothes on. He needs to put his scarf and his hat and his pants. Sometimes he forgets what he needs to put on. So let's listen to Froggy Gets Dressed by Jonathan London. his 
mitten, untied his scarf, took off his hat. He left his pants, boots, and socks on, and buttoned up his shirt. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Then he snapped on his coat. Snap. Put on his hat. Zap. Tied on his scarf. Zwip. Tugged on his mittens. Zoom. And flopped back outside into the snow. Flop, flop, flop. Froggy, called his mother. Wah, yelled Froggy. Did you forget to put something on? Froggy looked down. Hmm. He had on his mittens. He had on his scarf. He had on his coat. He had on his shirt. He had on his pants. He had on his boots. He had on his socks. He reached up. Yep. He had on his hat. What could he be missing? Your underwear, his mother laughed. <gasps> Oops, cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. <laughs> he flopped back inside. Flop, flop, flop. Tugged off his mittens. Untied his scarf. Unsnapped his coat, unbuttoned his shirt, unzipped his pants, pulled off his boots, took off his socks. He left his hat on and slipped his long johns on and with a zap of elastic. Then he put on one sock, zoop, pulled on one boot, zoop, tugged on one mitten. Some started to tug on the other and let it drop and said, I'm too tired and went back to sleep. <laughs> Good night, Froggy. The end. It's a lot of work to get all bundled up to go outside in the winter. Sometimes you can get very tired putting on all those things. It's a lot of work. Thank you so much for joining me for calendar meeting, and I hope you have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you very soon. Goodbye, K3.